here we have the Dickinson Marine Newport stove. It's about that big. So it's not too big. And here I have a little piece of iron just to as a kind of a heat sink that'll kind of keep giving the heat out instead of letting it all go up the chimney. Um, I kind of gasketed up the sides here. Maybe do a little bit more again. Um, it just kind of is better being inside the truck a little bit better at um, insulating. I reinforced this because in the truck I felt like it needed a little bit more of a, a push. Um, it was kind of opening up what, the way they gave it to us. This little dude goes up. That goes down. I put a rubber band around for um, just for safety's sake of the ashtray falling out. And it has its own little little airflow. Air and this stuff is all just powdery. It's great for the. It's just great for um, gardening or anything else. Soil wise, um, up here is a good cooking spot. As you see, this is the box that it gets hot. This is just a, kind of a guard, so it has all the uh, venting and whatnot. But this cooks pretty well. I mean, this cup's here. We can also take uh, one of these kind of pots and put it there. So that works pretty well for keeping, keeping things pretty warm if you need to cook up some soup or whatever. But this goes in on an angle only because it goes up through there, kind of ragtag that whole setup so I can still have a vent. All I do is just push up these and I still have a vent. It still vents out the top. So. There you go. And then it's just kind of a little setup up there. Um, the cool thing is that this whole pipe can come right up and out and then just hangs right right here off of this. It's not too bad. It comes up even though I gasketed it a little bit with the silicone. Um, up top here you can see I just used one of those. Uh, you know, pipe or roof fence set up and this, this is pretty good this pipe is double walled so it's not bad at all the whole top to here and then inside of this we put a uh, piece of mesh wiring so there's a fire spark arrestor keep all that stuff down I mean we're cooking pretty good and it's not much up up here you know other than the regular dirt bigger than inside your house. So. But yeah, it's not a bad setup. Um, but we put the tile here. This used to be where in the ambulance the old chair used to go. Um, it painted back and so everything's been pretty good. We've been monitoring to see how hot it gets around all the plastic and everything else and everything's been really good so far nothing's really gotten hot at all even I even hooked up these USB fans so I have a choice between a bunch of little ones or the big one just made the big one actually and then it just hooks up to a USB that I plug into the battery system that's running on the solar right now so that goes plugs into here and That's blowing pretty good right there. It's not bad at all. Makes a nice, neat little push around, air push around. So, got my choices if I wanted them. So it's not bad. Um, other than that, we 
Let's start up a little fire in here really quickly. So, get a bunch of little. boxes or anything else that we usually have around for trash or whatever. I'm not recycling or composting. Um, it's hard to do this with one hand. <laughs> kindling in here especially this stuff and when you go get kindling you really don't need much I mean I guess you could put peat or um, charcoal in here and light it or some solid fuel but I like using wood it smells good you bite it free everywhere so I don't have a problem fighting it at least here in Colorado or Vermont you know it's not bad Bunch of this little stuff first. Add a little bit more of the cardboard or whatever paper you got. Sometimes the cardboard sucks ass. Especially if it's just box board. I guess when you want to do a movie, you might as well use fucking paper instead of cardboard that worked last night but didn't work today. <laughs> 